All right, folks, um, I think it's time to address something that is very important, and that is the fact that we continue to get requests from a lot of people to comment on specific dreams that specific people have been having and putting out on Instagram, Facebook, uh, social media, YouTube, that kind of a thing. Now, um, it is pretty insane, the volume of dreams that seem to be uh, increasing. And the reality of it is an overwhelming majority of those dreams bring in all kinds of doom and gloom. And we're going to tell you that this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And the reality of it is a clock that's broken is right two times a day. And so I'm not trying to put down dreams. I want to actually address the issue of whether or not God uses dreams. Now, of course, we know that the answer to that is yes. God does use dreams. We have seen him use dreams in the past. We see him use dreams in modern times, but there was a context for those dreams. Now, there's a type of dreams that Joseph had where, uh, or not Joseph, but the Pharaoh had, and that Joseph was used to interpret those dreams. There was, of course, dreams that Joseph did have that actually came true, that spoke prophetically. I believe they were used by God to prepare Joseph for what was to come. And of course, the dreams that the Pharaoh had undoubtedly were dreams that saved the nation because he himself was one that was in charge of the nation, which would make sense why biblically those dreams would take place. As a matter of fact, when dreams involved the nation in many contexts in the Bible, they were from the world leader that actually had those dreams. So I understand that. And then people look at a passage like Joel chapter 28, which of course I'm going to read today and tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to talk about visions. And it says, it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. Now, of course, the apostle Peter quotes this in Acts and he says that this would be a promise that would apply to future generations. Of course, promising the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the many things that come as a result of it. So are dreams legit? Yes. Does God use dreams? Absolutely. But here's the caveat that must be held on to, and that is, if they contradict with what the scriptures teach, then they are false. They are not true. They are not real. I'll give you an example. When people say they have a dream and they know when the rapture is coming, eh, false teacher, don't listen to them. They are not telling you the truth. They themselves might not be evil people, but they are certainly deceived by the experience that they had after they had some bad pizza. Okay. now if somebody comes to you like many have come to me and say, well, I was a Muslim and I had a dream and I've never heard the gospel before in my life. And in that dream, I think this person named Jesus appeared to me and he told me the gospel and I got saved as a result of my dream. Most definitely we're looking at a biblical precedent there because God has done that in the past, not only in the scriptures, but we've seen it happen on many occasions and nothing contradicts with the scripture. So of course that would be an appropriate use for dreams. As a matter of fact, an overwhelming majority of the context where dreams are had, where they're legit and they actually have an effect on people, they oftentimes include a theme that is relative to the person that's actually having the dream and not necessarily to a people group, right? The other thing that I would tell you is if a person says he had a dream and maybe he was accurate about the outcome of that dream and you can actually substantiate that by the dating, it doesn't mean that they're right and it doesn't mean that they're true all the time because a great example of this was a person who had dreamed uh, stating that everything that related to the sickness would happen. And then many of the things that he said in his dream actually did happen. And then that same person had another dream and said that Trump was going to win the 2020 election. We know that that's not true. And that did not happen. And so um, I think that we have to really look at things for what they are and recognize that fact. And I know that some of you are going to listen to what I just said about uh, Trump, and you're going to say, well, no, no, the circumstances, and it really, he really did win, and so on and so forth. The reality of it is he's not president right now, and the statement was, oh, he would be the president. So I understand where people are going with these things, but here's the, the, the summary, and it's going to be the summary of when we talk about visions as well. There's some caveats with visions as well, but that is you've got to agree with the scriptures. If it doesn't agree with the scriptures, guys, it's not legitimate, and you've got to walk away from it, okay? God bless you guys. Remember, Always look to the Bible. God bless you.